I totally understand how overwhelming changing your diet and lifestyle is. In fact, you might be tempted to push it off or make small changes here and there, hoping for the best. Now, real lasting change does require commitment and action. Usually people like to focus on the food they eat first, so let's tackle that. But before you do any drastic changes, identify the foods that you crave the most. Make the list in descending order. The foods that you crave the most are on top of the list and the foods that you feel you have a mild craving for are in the bottom. Now look at that list and consider letting go of the ones on the top of the list first. You decide whether that's realistic in your situation but do distinguish between excuses and solid reasons. Then next you can minimize or eliminate processed foods like white flours, refined sugar and even refined oils and any products made of those items. You don't have to go cold turkey though. Instead, draft a realistic gradual plan for yourself and stick to it. Next, it's very important not to feel restricted or deprived. For that reason, make a list of substitutions for the foods that you choose to leave out. So, invent substitutions that align with your new lifestyle and that are as satisfactory or at least close enough until you grow into them. Should you decide to get my meal plan or sign up for the full video course, You'll have help with finding ideas on substituting any foods that we kick out either temporarily or more permanently. Often people think of diets. When people think of diets, especially ones as specific as Candida diet, there's an immediate focus on limitation. But we can shift our focus on the abundance just as well. It's a simple choice and we are free to choose. So instead of thinking about avoiding certain thoughts, Think of it as an opportunity to discover a wealth of nourishing and delicious options that perhaps you've never tried before. Imagine all the foods you can enjoy, vibrant vegetables, wholesome grains, lean but filling proteins and healthy fats. These foods aren't just allowed, they are beneficial. They provide essential nutrients and support your gut health at the same time. To encourage change, I really invite you to take immediate actions. So implement what you learn straight away and do the exercises wholeheartedly. This way, new habits will stick. I'd also like to point out that with the full course, you'll have a workbook to help you do all the exercises and self-reflections and have it all in the same place. Believe me, this will be super helpful. As moving away from the mindset of restriction and towards abundance is a key element on our journey, I decided to support you further and give you access to another meditation from my full video course. This is a guided journey to visualize abundance, arrive at a new mindset and embrace gratitude. After you've done the meditation, write down the things that came to you what are the things that you now maybe see differently? And if you're willing to share, I'd love to hear. Remember, this journey is about progress, not perfection. So celebrate every small victory and be kind to yourself along the way. If you have any questions or need support, I'm here for you.